Yeah, so the checkup. Listen, I got a guy here who there's a lot to discuss. Yeah. I can't even lie. Hardly. What's going on? We can't even really. All of that, all of that, bro. Yeah, you know we're, that, that. we're recording this at a time where coronavirus the is seeming crazy. to be at its highest. We are in an apartment that isn't mine. Yeah. I'm just here, <laughs> and I know that the early traumas in life mm. had you feeling like, "Raw, where are you bringing me, bro?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, do you know what it was? It's not even like. It's just, it's just bad vibes though. Like, not even the area <laughs> in the sense, I just meant aesthetically. Yeah. Because like, you know South, yeah, it's just like, or Craydon, should I say. Craydon is his own world. Mm -hmm. So it's like, whenever I come into London, I'm just like, it's like, it's, it's just not as nice, isn't it? Like, yeah. there's, it's just very, look at that, bro. There's building know, work there's building. out there, bro. Do you I know what, I like it though, in some way, because it's, it's, this is just, I, yeah. do you know what though, I say it's real, but then this, this speaks to all of the flipping, what do you call it? Um, you know, the new development and the social cleansing that's been going on. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. these buildings in, but no one can fucking afford to... Because um, you know what it is as well? We just came from Hackney as well. And I was just like, there's mad disparity for that, yeah. this to be here and then Hackney... But Hackney's Hackney. changed as well though a bit. Nah. Um, I, I wouldn't know. I don't know it as much as like other people from there would, innit? True. Like I didn't, I didn't see... I didn't see when it was down in the bit, down in the dumps, you know, like Man that. I wasn't going there, bro. <laughs> I wasn't really going there like that. And like Peckham as well. I was saying to someone just recently, yeah, it's funny to me yeah. when I hear like a girl say, oh, like, you're going to come out tonight. Where are you going? Oh, we're going to like a bar in Peckham. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? It's just, it's nice. It's a social place now, isn't it? It's changed. You know what it is? I think it's smartphones, man. The smartphones make everything a bit like, you know, even though there's a drill stuff going on, yeah, there's safety in it. Like, if mm. people Snapchat everything now, like, it's mm. back in the days, it was heartless. Like, man would get robbed, SIM card, SIM card taken away, oh, uh, your memory card's on it. They're like, yeah, we're taking the memory card too, you know, yeah, like yeah, that. Anything. Like, now it's like, what are you doing, robbing an iPhone? Like, someone's got touch ID or something, face ID, you can't even really get into it. Yeah, but everyone's it. got a phone now and that as well, isn't it? So it's yeah. like, there's no real value in teeth in a phone like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember there was, there was that little space where, the little time where them youths were on peds and, yeah. that, and they were taking people's phones and that. But I think that was because yeah. they was like, they were flogging them to a different country and that, from yeah. what I was hearing. So it was like- no, All big... going to boss man. Going to boss man, you know, like that. Yeah, boss true. man buy the phone like 40, 40 buff. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. So it's, it's a heartless generation, for no, you know, like that. How are you though, man? Where um, have you been? I'm good. I've been sorting out my life, man. I've been like, you know what it is? Um, I've always cared about music more than it like seems on the surface, isn't it? Like, I feel like I've got a very nonchalant, laid back energy in it, yeah, but. I want to make sure I do music. It's going to sound mad corny, but I have an impact on my generation, innit? Like, I'm not just a, someone that lives single to single to single. Like, I want to get my my character felt, tell my story, because I think my story is a different story than the narratives that I heard growing up. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I went away and I made, I made a project. I made a lot of music even, so I, to just limit it to one project. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give niggas like something cohesive, something that they mm. can live with. Not just like, not just like the one-off song. And then I go away, I disappear, I come back, I look a bit, I look a bit chubbier. I come back, I look a bit chubbier. And it's like- Yeah, you had a little it, chubby stage still, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I that play on your conscience a bit? Like, did you, was you starting to look at some of the shit, like some of your videos? No, I didn't just see even look at vid like, just Instagrammed clips of yourself of people just taking things of you and then thinking, right, because like, you did mention the weight. I've seen you mention that a couple no, of times. No, but you know what it is? I think it's, it's sexy weight. Do you get okay, what I mean? <laughs> I think it's sexy weight. I'm getting older. Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? I can't be, I can't be bare skinny and that. I'm healthy. Like I go gym and that. So it's, mm. you know what it is? Because I don't back, back my top off, you know, like 
people are haters, so they want to believe it's a belly. It's not a belly, Okay. Bro. It's not so, a oh, belly, Oh, it's one bro. of them ones when you back it off, it might it's, be a situation. It's a situation. I it's not that a fully still. chiseled pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not fully chiseled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that still. There. You get, you get yeah, I've got saying? a little bit of that as well. Like, just a little bit. Yeah. When I wear the top and that, like, thing you can might you might be able to tell oh yeah he, he might be going gym and that yeah but see when i back it off it's they, not a man chiselage but it's they no, know they know that yeah. that that didn't come from eating that yeah. came from work strong exactly exactly that for me as well so i see i see people hating yeah i might be a hater too yeah nah. but it's, it's we move i heard yeah do you know one of the reasons why because you mentioned that like you care yeah. a lot about like your like the your career traje- trajectory I can't never get get that word yeah. out yeah but like one of the reasons why I know that is a real thing for you mm. is because I don't know if you remember this but we was going Texas Texas yeah I remember yeah to South by Southwest mm. what was it 2017-ish I think 17 or maybe Early 18, early 18 still. Maybe early 18, yeah. yeah. And um, like you approached me on the plane and we was having a conversation, but one of the things that you were bringing up was that like you had kind of felt that people were feeling like you were fluking it. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, 100, 100. Could talk to me about how you was thinking at that time. Um, do you know what it is? So when we done Unsigned, it was like, it was like, it was bigger than what we thought it would be in it, yeah. But my approach for unsigned, I changed my whole of like my whole rap approach and whatnot. And I was like, when I do this, when I do this song, I'm gonna make verses that everyone can sing every word to. Do you get what I'm saying? And I feel like that's not really seen in rap. People want you to be lyrical on like a club song. I think I've done a perfect like sing along verse. But the thing we're doing like the right thing. It doesn't always look like the most skillful thing in the world. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? It's like, it's almost like I'm booting the ball in the back of the net, but people want me to do like step overs and that yeah, to yeah, prove yeah, I'm yeah. really yeah. good. But I'm just trying to get the ball. I was just trying to get the ball in the net. And then naturally, I think me as my, like, my rapper pride and just having pride in my art, I remember like the natural stigma was like, oh yeah, like he had Aeson on the hook, rare tear tear. So let's give it to that like, ace and in it. And you know, in the music industry, you can always kind of focus on the negative things that people are saying rather than the positive. I was like, I've got to shake off this stigma. And then I've done that like, Super Soca. Super Soca was like a feel good song. It was childish as well. It was like childlike, but fun in it. And then I think after that, it, it didn't feel yet again like a song I made on purpose, and I don't know why it had that stigma because, like, but is that is that like, does that come from how you think, or do you feel like that just came from how people felt about you? Um, like you were just making, like you were just, you were making them, and they just so happened to be a thing more yeah. than you was more than it being something that you was planning to do. So I planned like my songs. Yeah, when I do them, I. I know what I want people to feel from that song. So Super Soca as well, I could have done like more technical verses, but I was like, yo, it's a good, it's a feel good thing. I'm gonna make sure every ver- word you can sing, do you get what I'm saying? I could have done like punchlines, blah, 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 but I was like, let's infuse this with like personality in it. Cause I think personality for me anyway, is what carries your artistry because all of us, like you put every rapper in the country in the room, we can all come up with punchlines and you kind of end up saying the same thing. But I'd never heard someone before me in like UK say, I put the Henny in the super soaker. Mm-hmm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? That's the thing that like, I wanted to make sure I had music that only Hardy Caprio could make. Mm. Like, and that's, um, so when I, was, the reason I feel like how I felt is obviously, as an artist, yeah, don't let anyone say they don't. You look up what people are saying about you, innit? Mm. And then it's like, obviously you have the positive comments and then you have the negative comments like, oh, this guy's shit, la, 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 like, oh, he's not a lyrical rapper. Like, I even saw a reaction video, my brethren showed me a reaction video and he's like, oh, if you gave Nas this beat, like, if you gave Nas this beat, he would have tore it up. And it's like, Bro, I wasn't trying to do Illmatic on a party song. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But everyone, that's a draw out though. It is a draw out. And but you have to be careful though. Yeah. That your career isn't, 
based on draw routes because 100%. then you can end up you can end up all over the place with actually with literally no direction because everyone's trying to get you to everyone has an opinion on something that yeah. you are doing in a negative perspective so if you're trying to correct everything then you might be falling short on another thing that another person is going to try to say say about do you get me 100 percent, 100 percent, and i think like that just came with the type of person i am in it because i'm like a I'm, I'm like a competitive person. Mm. It does. I don't put that like on the forefront. It's just in in me. I like proving that I'm good at what I do. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So naturally, I was just like, cool. Like, you know what's mad? After I done unsigned yeah, and it done as well as it done, I was like, I'm not even good enough for the position that I've landed in. That's a madness. Like, like what do you mean? Though? Like, so if I just run off after unsigned yeah, and done bare songs. I would probably just be someone that washed away in the distance because I'd come up as a rapper before that mm. and I didn't come up as someone that makes songs and I think people see the same pe- people see them as the same skill I don't think they're the same skill no, at all innit? And, I was, and I was just like, like I remember thinking fuck like, <laughs> I've got I've got a big shoe to fill with it so I started working on song making so song what are you making. saying it's like bittersweet in a sense that like yeah it was like oh if I come up from rapping like, if, if my first song was a breakthrough, like, just a rap song, I would be laughing right now. But because it was, like, such a well-put-together song, it's like, I felt like that was the lane that I'd fit in. Mm. Do you get what I mean? I was like, let me just learn to put put songs together anyway because that is what music is. Do you get what I'm saying? But do, do you also think that, that, like, for you, it makes people look at you... Mm made people look at you differently and not with the respect of him being you being a barra is yeah. that kind of what was on your mind a bit yeah 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 i think a lot of a lot of music has just been finding myself you know yeah and i think that's the honest truth like i can't sit down and say i had it figured out straight away i would love to say i had it figured out straight away because yeah. maybe i wouldn't have listened to like the negative comments straight away but i was conscious as well like these are things that i was conscious of as well and then it's like after best life, yeah. I actually saw that as an end of an era. Like you know, if my life was in a movie and blah blah blah, like the struggle, best life would be that like that song that is at the end of the movie. You know, the yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the rapper walks out like, yeah, yeah, this is my moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I saw it as, and I was like, cool. Like I've done this with Aeson. I need to find myself. Do you get but the thing is though, because you've mentioned this a couple of times, yeah, with yeah. the Aeson thing, but like. Honestly, I mean, I could be wrong when I say this, yeah, but it feels like Aeson had come up the same with you. With like, so it's not like, like when you say, oh, like Aeson on the hook and that, it's not like fucking you've done a rhythm and Chris Brown is on it yeah. and then man are saying, yeah, but Chris yeah. Brown is on the thing. Yeah. Like Aeson still, for a lot of people, would have been relatively unknown. You just yeah. had someone good on a hook. 100%. Those, so you know what it is? I so why is that a thing? I, w- I don't know, but the, the frame of mind that I was in back then, yeah. I cared about that. Now I, I, don't give that. A, I don't give a flying fuck, you know? Because naturally, if I want to put someone on the hook for the song, I'm going to put someone on the hook because yeah. what's that for? A hook? I'm, do you want me to sing everything? It's like, I feel like nowadays, yeah, you see where there's so many genres, so many things happening, people look at rappers like where everything or and it's like why why do I need to do everything do you get what I'm saying if I, if I rap then why are you judging me on whether I can sing or whether I'm doing the hook just appreciate the guy on the hook you mm. liked the hook I picked a good hook to be on my song yeah thank you you get what I'm saying but like I'm only speaking of these things now looking back on them I don't feel like that now at all like, mm. I just it's like it's a maturity of thing course as well. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a maturity thing you as grow well. in the game in it like you come into the game like yeah. super naive about a lot of things yeah and then like and also mm. it's a different time as well well i wouldn't say it's a different time but there's social media plays a big part in yeah in in records busing and that and comments and all of yeah. these type of things so it's difficult to not want to see because i guess like you want to know what people what the general consensus is with your music, yeah. do you know what I mean? 100%. But then where do you draw the line? Because Exactly. And it, do you know where it is? Actually, um, 
Storms actually told me this year, you can't fight everyone on the internet because it's like, if a crackhead came up to me and said, oh, you're shit, I'll just be like, you're a crackhead. Like, I wouldn't even pay them any mind. Do you <laughs> yeah, get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'll carry on walking. Yeah. And he's like, people on the internet are like crackheads. You just got bare crackheads telling you your opinion, yeah. telling you their opinion. And it's like, you should just learn to have pride in your work, can it? Just yeah. have pride in it. And that's why I think I do like... Um, do you still feel like people are doubting you now though? Um, I mean, I know that you had a break and stuff, yeah. pretty much, but, like, do you I feel like your career doubt. is based, for you, on doubt? Um, that's what I want to avoid, isn't it? Like, I feel like people are always going to doubt me, do you get what I'm saying? They're like, if I do one good thing, they're going to say, yeah, like, oh, is he going to do this again? I remember when I went into labels, actually, yeah. When I first started signing, or, like, when I, just before I was about to sign... I remember I sat in a label with someone and they were like, oh, Jay Huss just done Did You See? Oh, but he's not going to do that any, again. <laughs> like, kind of expecting me to laugh. And I'm like, why would you think he can't do that again? Yeah, of course. Because you know what it is? Everyone, everyone on the outside, not there's going to be people that want, that just expect the worst because they're not happy in themselves. They can't do it in themselves, bro. Like, so yeah. they can't expect the best from someone else. Sometimes I also question, yeah, like, there are people in them buildings who really know what they're talking about and understand it, mm. and some that are of it. There's some that are just yeah. of this culture and scene, yeah? Hundreds. But there's a lot that ain't. And it's like, when you hear even a comment like that, yeah, even then, to me, is such a misguided thing to say yeah. when you look at what Jay Huss had even done before all of that. 100%. Like, I've said from time, yeah, I actually genuinely feel like this, yeah, from a DJ perspective, mm. take Drake out of this situation. Over the last five years or so, I think Jay Huss has been in the club the most. Yeah. He's been in the club the most, bro. Maybe, what, six years? He's had a banger every, every year. So, yeah, every every so. once in a while, he's had a like he turns them over. Before did you see? Before, yeah. but it's like again, if you're not if you're not see if you're not checking for it like that, you miss it, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's that's just the music industry when you're inside it, innit? So yeah. I was just like, let me come. I, I don't even care about these niggas. You get what I'm saying? The music yeah, is like they're not going to be there when I go home. You know what I'm saying? A lot mm. of people that I see every day, like, not every day, but a lot of people I'm seeing when I go to these places, they're not my friends. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Like, you've seen it from people before me. Like, everyone gets cosy. It's a typical story, like, uh, you're popping, everyone's on your side. When you're not popping, they're not going to check for you. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And I was like, I'm someone that's always kept my friends around me. So I was just like, fuck this, I'm going back to ends, man. I, this is this is where I started. So I'm going back to ends. You're gonna see me around like you're gonna see me around my friends, you're gonna see me around like my my the young boys and whatnot. And just like that's that's who I made music for in yeah. the first place, isn't it? Or like who I made music to um, enjoy with in the first place. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If my brethren's like it, it's like I'm happy in it. Obviously, I have to like it first, but yeah, that yeah. was what I'm around in it. And yeah. it's like the minute I started trying to prove stuff, I done. Um, I remember after sponsored, I done Lucky Me, and it's like I done that in a, like I done that in an hour. Or so I wrote that in an hour, and I went to do it. And now I listen back to it, I'm like, why I let these niggas draw me out? There, it's pointless, man. It's definitely pointless. So yeah. I think I've come back with new energy, like with new energy. I, that's hot, like Harley Caprio, the man or like the growing man in it, because mm. that's what I am. Like I'm not, I'm not young no more. I'm mm. not the person that made Super Soaker. I probably wouldn't make Super Soaker yeah. again. I probably there's a lot of things that I wouldn't do again because I'm just I'm happy within myself. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? That's interesting. Yeah. Still, did you ever feel like? Because I know there was like com some conversations that were had like, yeah. early on here where it was like. Um, the music that you were making, like you was making stuff that was connecting and doing stuff, but yeah. it was like, not, it's almost like people didn't know you though. Yeah. It's like the songs were big, yeah. but people didn't know, the. they knew the name, but they mm. may not know the face. Was that yeah. a thing for you? Um, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Even, even like, moving across the years, I was like, bro, do you know, do you wanna know the realest? Uh, um, what sparked the break here? Yeah. 
I looked at my brethren and I was like, if I was a kid now, I would not be a Hardy Caprio fan. Because I was a little shit as well, you know, like when people would release music, I'd be like, this is shit. Oh, I love this, this is shit. And I looked at my career, yeah, and I was like, I wouldn't be a Hardy fan right now. Like, I don't know what you do. I don't even know who you are. Who the fuck are you? Like, you're just always happy on my screen. Like, <laughs> you're just always singing, and you're, all, you're all just in nice places, but who the fuck are you? Like, and obviously I had my come up. I did have my come up, but you know, internet, like, it's fickle, do you get what I'm saying? We forget things that happened last week. Like, remember flipping Donald Trump and like, that's all, that's already washed to the back of our mind. So it's like when I'm releasing something and I'm taking like three months, four months mm. to release the next thing because I want the next thing to be big. It's like, what's happening in those four months? Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And I was just like, I don't want to be that artist. Like even if I can make a big song every day, every year for the next few years, that'll get me money, but I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. just, I just don't want that. So I was just like, fuck it. Need to go back to the basics need to find what I actually want to do as well, and then we move. Word. 100%, because I wouldn't have been a Hardy Caprio fan for maybe two years. Yeah, I would yeah, have yeah. enjoyed the songs, but I'd, who the fuck are you? I was going to get to this later, yeah, but mm. I saw you actually say that you felt like you'd let your fans down and that. Yeah. Because you was like, yeah, after um, uh, Guten Tag, it's like you felt like there was a... Like something about direction. Do you, yeah. do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, like I said, that was a final straw for me because you know what it is? Like, I had a banger through, like, nearly every moment, and it. I wouldn't call unsigned Afro Swing, but if you call it Afro Swing, then it was an Afro Swing banger. Then, like, it started, a rapper existed in the clubs for a little bit. EIO was, like, fresh, but it was still a club banger. And then Best Life... Best Life to me Fam? is like a pop song. Yeah? I love it. No, it's like a black pop song. Okay. It's a pop song. That's, I'm not going to lie to you, yeah. I swear, I feel like like Best Life has yeah. so much summers in it, bro. I, I believe so as well. Bro, I believe. it's like one thing that I don't believe that we will see, in my opinion, mm. is um, a lot of either classics or yeah. or stuff with like super replay value. I feel like mm. there's a lot of things that will just be here for the moment and gone. And, gone. and whatever, yeah. and, and you know what? The game's always kind of been like that, but there's always been moments where there's certain things that stick and whatnot, yeah? yeah. I genuinely feel that is one of the few songs that, yeah. that has the legs to do that yeah. because of, it's just, it's a, it's, it's not just so much the song, you know, it's just the vibe and it's the yeah. timing of it. It's like, it's specific summer vibe. 100%. Specific or holiday. 100%. I think it was just a mood. I think we caught the mood. It was like, me and Ace have this thing, yeah, where we've always like, I think when we come together, we try to be like Mace and Diddy or we'll capture that era. Yeah. And I think we captured that perfectly. Like doing the thing on the yacht, like the, the mad yard. I think we really done like, we really, Brought, and we put our own spin on it as well. Yeah, That's yeah. what I think importantly, importantly um, what's most important. I think it was an epic song. Yeah, yeah, it's mad. Yeah. I want to go back a little bit, yeah? Mm. Um, one, there's one thing I watch of you quite often. Yeah. Which is the SBTV freestyle thing that you did. Which one? Um, I think it was your first one. Your what, very wifey first rhythm. one. Yeah, wifey yeah, rhythm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about the steps that you climbed in the yeah, estate yeah, yeah. and all of these things and whatever, yeah, and you're just barring like mad. Yeah. Who, who was that? Who talk to me about who that person was? So, like I said, like um, so when I said, like I said, when I started doing music again in uni, yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna try for one year and see what happens, in it. So, um, because that was just after Stormzy came up in it mm. as well, so. Obviously, he's from ENDS. We all know each other from ENDS anyway. So it's like, this is real. Oh my gosh, this is real. I've got to, like, I've got to get on my shit, not miss the window, innit? Because it always feels like one person blows at a time. So flipping, I'd been doing bare stuff through the year, bare stuff through the year. I had my Soundboy thing that popped off, mm. like, a little bit. It got 100k views. And you know, back back then, even just four years ago, 100k views was a mad thing. Mad thing, yeah, yeah. And then flipping... 
But after the, after I got 100k views, I was like, bro, like life hasn't changed, you know. Like I'm still going same uni, thing. same. It's still the same, and it's like it's it was almost disheartening, isn't it? And I was just like, I was just angry, bro. Like I was just angry, and then I heard Wifey rhythm, yeah, as well, and. I've always liked grime for the more melodic side of grime, which is kind of weird, but it's just what I liked, isn't it? Like the rough squad beats, you know, yeah, the sample, yeah, yeah. sample grime. And like when I heard Wifey Rhythm, to me, I never, like, I couldn't hear that beat and think of a girl. It just reminds me of where life is at. Like, yeah, do you yeah, get what I'm yeah. saying? It was just like, man would go back to my, my council estate. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, yeah, I yeah. don't want to be here. Man, don't want to be and here. Privately, you, can't, you had a lot going on, in it, really? Because yeah. I know, obviously, you've talked about, yeah. like, the, obviously, you need stuff. Your dad was not well. Yeah. Um, and, like, and eviction letters and stuff like that. Yeah, um, like, basically, like, we were just in a shit, shit place, innit? And it's like, oh, my gosh, I've got this far and I can't do anything. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? So I was just like, oh, fuck it, let me just... Let me just go. Let me just write something. Give them a perfect three minutes on it. And that's actually my mentality yeah. for everything. Let me just give you the best three minutes on this beat that I can give you in it. And I was really, at that point, I was really counting the stairs that I was going up. Like, I was just that focused. I was like, like I'll just do weird things. Like, I'll just do, like, go up the stairs, say one, two, three, four. Like, I'm going yeah, up yeah. 13 steps. I wanted to get people paint that picture clearly so you know what I'm seeing yeah, yeah, yeah. as this is happening, isn't it? And I, I think I hit the nail on the head. For, so a, thank for you. a young youth as well, though, like, going through, like, what your dad was going through at that time, Yeah. Like, how how did that affect you? Do you know what? Yeah. I asked that because, like, even more on a personal one, mm. you know, I, like, I kind of going through a similar situation with that. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, seeing someone that I've grown up with in in a sim in a similar situation mm. which can make it can distract you. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you can just be distracted into or even demotivate you yeah, to even want to yeah. do something. Talk on that. So basically like that that time in my life where I like felt like shit bro. Like I just felt like what 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 am I amounting to? Like what can I do? Like even if I go and work, yeah like even if I go and work, get a job, like what, it's gonna take me like 12 years to get out of this situation. Like my dad's here, like I live with my, I lived with my mum, my grandma. Like, did no your dad one, live in this country or was he? Uh, um, he was back and forth. Back innit? and forth, okay. So like, man's just seeing this, yeah. It's like, I couldn't get a break. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I could not get a break. So it wasn't even to write as escapism. Like, I guess in a way it was escapism because I wanted to get out of my situation. Like, I just wanted to be the change. Like, I felt like everything kind of fell on me. Do you get what I'm mm, saying? Like, mm, mm. in the sense that my mum's not happy. My grandma's not happy. Like, my grandma would take care of me a lot. My dad's not well. Like, I've, I've got an older brother. He's he's in, like, he's in jail. Do you get mm, what I'm mm, saying? Mm. So, literally, when I'm looking in, I'm just like, why am I in this situation? Like, yeah. why is it me? Like... I, like, I was thinking, I remember thinking through that, throughout that whole time in life, I was like, why am I in this situation? Like, why me? What what, what did I do? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And I was like, I want to, I just want to, I just want to break. Yeah. I just want to, I just want to get out of this. I want to get my mum out of this. I want to get everyone out of this. And it, like, because even if they don't say it's your responsibility. It feels like it. It feels like it. It feels like it, Yeah, bro. Yeah, it does. It's like. You, you you find yourself in a situation in your mind where you're like thinking of all different types of things to try and get some quick money, to try and get quick yeah. fixes to fix things. Do you get me? Like, 100%, 100%. I even said it in a um, song, like when I was doing what I was doing, I, to be honest, yeah, like bare, bare niggas were trapping around me. I just said, you know what, I can't, I can't even do this. Like it's not like, I want something to fall back on. Do you get what I'm saying? Because if I go jail, then who's who's around? Yeah, then it's fucked. Then the whole yeah. thing's fucked. The whole the yeah, whole yeah, thing's yeah. fucked. Because your brother's in jail. Yeah. You go jail. Then obviously your dad's not well. Mm. Your mum's in this situation. Your grandmother's in this situation. I hear that. That's smart yeah. still. Not everyone sees it like that. And yeah. you know what the thing is as well. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Like I understand it. Yeah. Bro. Do you get me? Because 
sometimes not everyone has the foresight of thinking. Some people think, you know, I, I'm just going to risk the gel thing anyway. Fuck yeah. it. I'm just going to risk it. Because you know what it is with like, your, with like trap money as well. You know, once you get it, you can't spend it like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas trap, yeah. And the honest truth is, they do it and just buy nice clothes. Or they have a mm. nice whip and you're st- where, like, man is still in a council estate. And I'm not disrespecting, like, I'm not even mm. trying to disrespect niggas, but it's not changing your situation. No, no. So I was just trying to, I was just trying to do little side hustles, like, like I can't lie, I'll do, like, quick flips in it, yeah, and mm. just invest it back into music. Mm. And invest it back into music. Like, I was, n- bro, I was putting, like, I was putting, like, hundreds of pounds, like, thousands of pounds into music, not seeing a return. And I'm just like, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Because... That was the best I could do until I get out of uni. And then even even just before I finished uni, yeah, I had to keep it real. I was like, if unsigned don't work, I'm just gonna go be an accountant. Oh, for real? I was like, I was just, if it don't work, I'm just gonna be an accountant. Like even at that point, because I was just like, I've given you my best three minutes. Like this sounds like a perfect three minutes. <laughs> I was like, bro, like if this don't work, yeah. w- what do I do? I don't know what to do. Because at that point, like Graham, Graham was kind of like rescinding it was like you know getting smaller and at the same time i was falling out of love with it as mm. well and i was just like let me just give you the best thing i can give you and at that point a couple months earlier i'd found asen in it i was like asen is sick at music asen's fucking sick like he was doing mm. like r&b at that time and i was just like i've all i grew up on r&b rap before even grime in it like mm. you know when i was a kid and watching mtv yeah of course i was watching that and then the grime was a six, secondary school thing so i was like with asa and asa was just like just need a song i was like let's make the best song we can ever make yeah like and then obviously how we done the song is a long story but bro if that didn't work yeah i'll be doing your accounts well yeah i hear that do you know it's <laughs> funny enough people don't even talk about it actually mm. like we obviously we always talk about like from what it was from secondary school and all of that yeah but before all of that it was like r and b for most man hundred percent most man in it and maybe a bit of hip hop or whatever it was yeah but for a lot of us 100%. like prior to that it was everyone was fucking with r and b yeah hundred percent like like but no one says it though like no one actually yeah. really says that we always just talk from the cool part like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, boom. Yeah. Get me dizzy, Mm-mm-mm. skeppy, and that. So even like you see dizzy, like I missed that whole. Era. Yeah, that wasn't your era, was it? it? Wasn't even really like my era. Like, what was yours was, then? Um, chip, 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 okay. chipmunk. Chipmunk was the first thing I saw. Like, like yo, I wear my own clothes. That Could was you imagine it. Chip is still in his twenties? You know. Yeah, I know. Crazy, isn't it? Just he's. I I would actually say Chip wants a legend in in this in this game, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, he. I think like he's definitely got. He's definitely got that. Like that's yeah. there for him, isn't it? And his story's always been like. I like his story because it's always been hard work. Yeah, yeah. Like he's always like you know when things got bad for him, he just worked out. He just it. worked, and and also his thing was always about proving that he's good at what he does as well. Yeah. It was like, yeah, cool. I can do that, and I can do this sick. But yeah. you know what? I can also do this, and what I can make money off that. And I can do that good as well. No yeah. one can't tell me nothing. Because if anything, I'll just come back here over the, again, spin yeah. people's heads off, do all of that. 100%. And when I was a fan of him, I remember it was like, like when I was young and a fan of him, should I say, I'm still a fan. But yeah. um, I remember it was like F64s were what was grabbing, man. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Because like, he would have the album, like, um, I remember the album, um, I Am Chipmunk. Yeah, yeah. And then he would just come back and spit. Yeah, spit a bar. It's yeah, yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah, get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It's just hard. Like he said, um, "I just caught me a brand new house. Feel free to put me in my place." Those are the sort of lyrics I like. like yeah, it's yeah, tongue yeah. cheek. Yeah, of course. Now I like that still. And like, yeah, the F sixty fours and stuff. I like. Those are always been some of the best parts of him that I've liked. Anyway, I think even the for scene, most people anyway. Yeah, I think even the scene like. Because F64s, niggas are just going in. Yeah. They're just going Wretch in. as well, bro. Some mm. of Wretch's early F64s. Yeah. 100%. Insane. And, like, those those were the things that I actually would, like, we would come after school and talk about. Yeah. Like we would we'd see them after school, next day in school, we'd talk about it. Like, yo, have you heard? 
Have you heard Wretches thing? Have you heard Scorchers thing? Like, I really like, like, I like Scorchers style a lot. Scorcher is, this is another thing, bro. I actually don't think we talk about Scorcher enough. Yeah. When we talk about lyricism, characteristics. Charisma. Charisma. Yeah. All on the microphone, bro. He is. 100. Yeah. And he's believable. Yeah. Like, when he's just sitting there and looking at, like, there's this, there's this, like, arrogance yeah, that, that he has. Just cuts through in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's yeah. like so, like, he's not even flinging too much words at you. He's just like. Just going in, yeah. but saying it, saying it. So that's when Skepta was actually. Skepta is my favourite Grand MC yeah, of yeah. all time because I think he done, he done that perfectly. Like, just say things. Like, he just kept on oh. saying things and saying things yeah. and saying things. And I was just like, I love this shit. Like, do yeah. you get what I'm saying? I remember. Um, what was it that he had that mixtape? Was it Been There Done That? Mm. And um, he had some song called Blow My Own Trumpet. He's like, um, You think I'm resting my head on my hand? No, fam, I'm listening to music. Like, and he's describing putting his um, earphones through the blazer pocket. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was doing. And I was like, Oh, shit. So that's I'll even that. what yeah. influenced my wifey with him when I was talking about going up the stairs. Because okay. I, like, my, he, put, he put me in his world. Yeah. Do yeah. you get what I'm saying? And those sort of things. I thought were crazy back then. Yeah, man. Like, what? Also, one thing I I know about you is that like mm. you seem like a person who, since you've come in the game, you've been very on controlling your narrative 100%. as best as you can in it. Hundred percent. Talk to me about that. Um, <coughs> do you know what it is? Man, man cleared my throat. By the way, it's not a cough. <laughs> it's not a cough. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm just passing on this thing. It's not a cough, still. <laughs> But basically, I think your narrative, your story is kind of like all you've got. Do you get what I mean? And I think you can only tell your story like beautifully one time. Do you get what I mean? So I keep a lot of things to my chest because I know there's going to be a better time for me to talk about it. Kind of like, it's kind of like a movie. I want to make my career a movie. Like I start drip feeding, man. Like, have you watched you? Yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. Have you seen, like... I have seen a new episode, though. I only seen the, the first one. Oh, you didn't watch the, first, the, first the second season. season. So, basically, yeah. in the first season, my man, my man, you'd only see flashbacks of his teenagers. Yeah, yeah. In the In the second season, you started seeing when he was a kid. Okay. And that's kind of, like, how I wanted to do my career. Mm. Kind of, like... Because now, it's like the flashbacks are still telling something new. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So, it's like, I'm not bored. Like, if you kept on showing me the same flashbacks or kept on talking about the same things in your rap gets mad boring, do you get what I'm saying? And I want a finite career, bro. Like, I don't want to do 35 mixtapes. I want to do, like, five special albums yeah, and yeah. I'm done. Like, yeah, do you get yeah. what I'm saying? That is the Hardy Caprio story. You'll understand it if you listen to all of it. And that's what... Once that's you what... go, it's concise. You can go for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You know what people don't want from you as well, though, innit? Um, do you? Do you know what people don't want from you? Um, I think... Um, I've seen you talk, like, about when things were going well, but I've, no, I've seen you skim past, like, the little blips or when things never really went um, the way that you wanted it to go. So mm. when you, you look at those, yeah, when you look at those, ele those parts of where mm. you thought something was going to bang and it yeah. didn't bang, do you see that as like, okay, this is not, they're not looking for, they're not looking for this for me anymore. Um, I think I had that vibe with Sponsor. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? And it wasn't like, I know they don't want it from me. I feel like that was just, I like the song, innit? I think the song is a good song. It's a vibe. However, I think it lost, it lost the hardly feeling sort of thing. Like yeah. with the beat that came on and everything, it was just like, it was like, it didn't, I walk a fine balance in it. And I, I think I walk a fine balance of like, this is, niggas can listen to this, but it's still got a mainstream appeal. Yeah. And I don't think I walk it intentionally. I just think I happen to walk it. Mm. And I think based off the success of my previous songs, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, now nah, I've got to do something as big as this. I've got to come back. I'm like, people, people make, look at me as a star and I think the label um, being in a label situation can give you that sort of pressure mm. so I think I, I don't think my thing is actually 
too pop. I think I've done some things where, which were accidentally too pop. Yeah. I think it just happens. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, this pop thing's a tricky thing, you know. I'll tell yeah. you why it's tricky, yeah? Because I think that sometimes we could look at the success of something, yeah, mm. and then say that it's pop. But really, it blew in a popular arena. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it is pop. Yeah. So for okay, I, this is the be best example. I, I, I use this example in different contexts before. Yeah. B back in the day, let's say like four years ago, that's not back in the day, but a little <laughs> while ago, four years ago, four or five years ago, there was big uproar because a lot of people had felt like the man then wasn't like invited to the Brits and they weren't nominated for stuff or whatever, yeah? Mm, mm, and mm. I was of the thing of, by the way, bearing in mind, I don't look at statistics. I just look, whatever's good is good and whatever shit is shit. Yeah. That's not for me to look at. I'm a fan of music and I don't really care too much about what sold what or whatever, yeah? yeah? That makes good, interesting conversation at times. But for me, let's just talk about how good it is or whatnot. But yeah. in this context, we've got to look at the statistics, in it? And you look yeah. at the music videos and the, and the sales compared to what we were doing at that time mm. and it's you can't compare them and yeah. i don't i would never want you know the brits or anything in that field to get one of the man them yeah and put them there just to tick something off yeah it has yeah. to be barbaric because i just feel like imagine that was the other way around now though mm. when you look at how far the scene has come and what people are doing now you look at some of the nominees the nominations and then you also look at the stats it matches up but yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean that the, the man them have gone and made pop music. Or, when yeah. I say man them, by the way, I mean girls too. I'm not, yeah, so yeah. don't get on to me. You know <laughs> what I mean? But like, that doesn't mean that these lot are making, or you lot are making pop music. It just means yeah. that the music now is becoming even more popular. Do yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, you can say, all right, yeah, like such and best life, for example, yeah. what, what not sounds like it could be. Uh, like a pop like sound. A, but it's, not, it's like but it's, it's it, it, it what if that wasn't what it was we wouldn't look at it like a pop sounding song yeah. we would just look at, listen to it as a vibe 100% so it's the same like with Dave and Location we wouldn't we wouldn't look at that as like someone trying to make a pop song yeah. it's just a vibe innit and like yeah. it so happens to be that now everyone or a bigger percentage of people are gravitating to it more yeah than it's like it was like before. i was saying about people online being crackheads like they're gonna as soon as something gets too successful you know it's you get like the weird crowd that want to like what everyone don't like mm. so it's just it's just i think i'd attribute it to that you know what i'm saying yeah you know, yeah you're just always going to get them people that like oh this songs this songs are a mainstream song blah, 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 and that like it's it is the game, what it is, it? bro. It's, it's the game, innit? Yeah. But the only reason, like, I feel like spon sponsored might be too pop is because I feel like that. Do you know okay. what I'm saying? When I listen back to it, I was just like... You feel like you tried too hard with that one? I just tried to be too cool. Okay. I wouldn't say, like, tried too hard because I didn't ever look at it like it was the next best life. I thought it was a vibe, but um, I feel like people were expecting the next best life because of the video, because that video was a mad video, you yeah. know, like that. I brought out all these models and blah blah yeah. blah, and I guess then you're gonna naturally think, oh, he's going for, he's going for the single, yeah, he's yeah, going yeah. for going it, for it, it. Like, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, he's going for it. That's the dangerous one, though. The yeah. dangerous one is, you know, when you hit them with an absolute banger, yeah, summer smash, hundred, and then. You can get into that thing of like, oh yeah, I need to kick them in the next one of these. 100%. But I'm, you don't. You don't. You actually don't, bro. You don't. I know it's anyway. You dash away that flipping sponsor and hit them with Guten Tag straight away. 100 Was it like a month later? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what it was? You know what's mad? I actually wanted to start with Guten Tag. That Is was it? the maddest thing. I wanted to start my year with Guten Tag because like... Um, drill, drill was like... I like drill, innit? Yeah. Like listening to drill... And then I remember like taking the song song back here, yeah, and then people were like, oh, you know, drill's not really a thing right now. Like it's not charting, blah blah blah. I was like, who was telling you this? Huh? Who was saying that to you? Oh, I don't wanna. I don't oh wanna no, was it like was it friends or label? Label. People? label. Oh fuck it now, bro. Yeah, and then it was like, um, it was like, don't wanna throw um, anyone under the bus, but yeah, they were just 
people were skeptic, do you get what I'm saying? Because they're like, yeah, it's a street thing, rare, tear, tear. And I was like, have you not heard Dig That though, bro? Like, have you heard him yet? Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's hard. And like, like I said, after like spending some years in the game, I learned how to make a song and I was like, trust me, when me and Dig That do this, this is gonna sound like a song. And like when we done the song, it was like, I don't think a lot of people listen with their ears. They're just, mm. they're just conscious about what's it gonna do? Mm. What's it gonna do? Or should I say that in the business perspective? Because I feel like it was just the right song for the time. Mm -hmm. It was just the right song. I liked it, I wanted to do it. And then it happened to work. Rapper was like, I liked it, I wanted to do it. It worked. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Even like one of my personal favorites, EIO, like, mm. I, I just liked it, yeah, I wanted yeah, yeah. to do it hard do you get what I'm saying and I think that's that's where we've gone back to I just wanted to do it I want to tell my story yeah I yeah. want to I want people to know who I am behind these songs I think my songs have got more mature like I've got more mature these are the things that I think matter like yeah, just, yeah. like do I like it at the end of the day so then you like taking a little break, but things have changed now anyway, like yeah. from then, money that's coming through or whatnot. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I noticed that like, you're kind of one of the, one of the ones that's been a bit more, I don't want to, maybe it's hard to say this in it, yeah? Yeah. Because I don't know what everyone's doing with their money and that. But I do care about this. Yeah. And one of the reasons why I care about this is because, um, like there's a lot, well, prior to this Corona thing anyway, there's a lot of money in this music game now. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah, we don't know how that can change. Yeah, that can yeah. really change, yeah. But like, and I'd like to see, irrespective of my opinions on people's music and that, mm. and performances and stuff, because I can be a critical on people's performances and shit. Yeah. And, um, and just even the music, yeah. Irrespective of that, I like to see young men making money and yeah. doing their thing. But I also understand that like money can go super quick if you're not smart with it. 100%. And depression is going to be super rife in this game at some point yeah. within a certain generation over a period of time. Because you know what, yeah? That living fasting yeah. was lit. It was super lit. Mm. But then when it goes and you're trying to constantly like chase for that again and trying to get it, it becomes different. Because now yeah. you're doing it because you have to do it. Yeah. Do you get me? But I feel like... With you, you've you've always come across like you've tried to do the sensible thing yeah. with that. Has that like really played a part on your mind when um, it comes to making the money that you've been making? Like we were talking about earlier, the position I was in earlier with like my mum, my dad, like my yeah. grandma, I was just scared, bro. I was just like, I, I never want to go back to this feeling. Like I never want to go back to it. And it's like, the way I'm getting money now, I can sort out nearly all of our problems. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's like, in my life, I never felt like I had a safety net because I always felt like it was all or nothing. If music don't work, I don't have parents that can look after me. I don't have family that can look after me. But now, fortunately, I made enough money that I can get my family out of that situation. I can put my mum somewhere nice so she doesn't have to work. Like, my mum's got a bad leg. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? So it's like, she, like, if she works too many days, that's just, like, always aching her, do you get what I mean? So I was like, first thing I want to do is get a yard. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, jewels are nice, but the first thing I want to do is get a yard. And obviously, as soon as I made money, I wanted to get a yard. However, you know, like, you need to get a year of accounts. I was going to say, get... yeah, how the fuck did you, because that, like, how yeah. did you do that? So no, I was just you waited. working? Huh? Was you working? I no, just I waited. I just waited. That's what I was saying. So like, as soon as I made money, the first thing I well, done... All you needed was one year of account, because you were, was making big bank, innit? That's kind yeah. of why. Uh, do you know what's mad? I thought it was two years. I thought it was years. like three, bro. Yeah. I thought it was two years, because that's what I was told. Uh, that's what I learned in uni. And then a year won't get you great rates, innit? So okay. I'd, so I'd waited a year. No, I waited two years based on that information, or let's say a year and nine months. And then I heard oh, it's only a year now. And then I checked into it and they're like, yeah, it's, could, could, you get last, if you want. could have got it last year, but I was like, <laughs> might as well get two years of accounts and get a good rate. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, recently, like, just moved my mum out and it's like, now it's like, I'm providing, like, safety nets, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, say I've got, like, a little sister, in it, Like, she, she doesn't have that burden that I had because, 
Like I, I even say it in li the lyrics, like, I hated life, bro. Like it's ironic that I make happy songs now. I hated life, bro. So it's like I don't want I don't want no one in my family to feel like that again. So that was my priority because bro, these jewels like Yeah. I just got them for camera, bro. Like yeah. I won't lie to you. Like it's just a, it helps you look a bit cleaner. Yeah. But yeah. it's not my priority. It's like I, I got them each Christmas because I had a good year. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I got the I got this set first Christmas, and I was just like, yeah, just pat on the back. Second second Christmas, I was like, yeah, I'm still here. Pat on Four. the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's kind of how I see that side of um, my life. Just yeah, it's mad. That's a deep thing to say, you know, like yeah. hating life and that because I know. Mm. You know, it gets like that, innit? And yeah. like, uh, you have to be able to have like a couple of things, if you can, just mm. that that mental toughness yeah. to be able to be like, All right, cool, I'm gonna I'm gonna try some things, and I'm gonna piss in the dark basically and try and make it work. Yeah. But also, if like good foundation and that helps, you know, I went through a, I wouldn't say I hated life, mm. but I definitely went through a time where things was just like not good for me, man. Mm. But found like just having a foundation of people to chat to more than anything was yeah. like super super helped to me 100 percent, and like i would say like i got my i got my right hand sam in it yeah and mm. during everything like um like say second year uni like even first year uni just driving man studio driving mm. man studio or like and obviously when he was on the bar i'd take train to studio but i always had someone to help me. Mm. That's the one thing I'll keep I'll keep it real about that. Like, I always had my friend to help me there. Do mm. you get what I'm saying? Which is where I'm fortunate. Like where I was unfortunate in other aspects. I think like having a value of a supportive the value of a supportive friend is priceless. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of men are lonely. Mm. Trust me, bro. When it all falls down, who are you gonna go to? And I think I've got a good support system of friends that like if this all crashes somehow um, I'm all right. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I'm yeah. find my way again. You know, that's a, that's an interesting thing as well, yeah. Because amongst like we we associate lonely more as a feminine thing or a gal thing. Like, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, a girl might say that she's lonely and that, but men don't really say that. But mm. that's a real thing. Not like once once you leave, whatever it is, the show, the club, the f road. Mm. And you just go home, yeah. Oh, it's different, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking different, bro. Mm, mm, mm. But um, yeah, the music video anyway. I know mm. you got you're back out here again now. <laughs> yeah. And um, and the first thing it says on there is like the label wanted you to come with a summer banger. Yeah. But you weren't really on that. Nah, not really. And um. Talk to me ab ab about that. Like, naturally, I could see why mm. the label would want you to come with, a, a, like, a vibe or whatever. But why was it? Why did you? Why did you go this route? I'm tired, bro. Like, do you know what it is? I'm tired of coming back and like, yeah, it's like not addressing why I even went away. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And where I'm not a shallow person, like, despite what some of my music videos might show. It's like, I have to tell that, like, do you get what I'm saying? I can't keep on not telling my story. Like, there's been loads of times where I wanted to tell it, and then they were like, yeah, you can just do it, like, after this single comes out. But then when the single's doing well, everyone wants to just promote the single, innit? I'm like, no, yo, I want to I wanna tell my story. I, I think right now, um, like, I can be an inspiration for people like me who aren't exactly, like, Man grew up in ends, but I've never said, yo, I'm the most hood you in the world. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, So when I was even coming up, it didn't even feel like there was a space for me. Mm. That's why I think I was working so hard. It didn't feel like there was a space because who was before me? It was like Crips and Conan. Do you get what I'm saying? And like, them niggas were infamous in ends. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you, you had to be about it, about it, innit? And it's like, <coughs> I just think it was, it was important to let people know now, after this hiatus, think shit is changing. Shit is changing. Like you're not getting, like you're not getting the big bang or straight away. Like you're gonna get the whole experience. I want to change that. I want to let people know that 
completely. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've changed as a person. My music's changed as a person. My music's changed. And I feel like starting on that note was a great, was a great note in it. And I also wanted to just say thank you as well, bro. Like, because like now when we're talking, I can tell you like man's happy, bro. Like, mm. man's, man's happy. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like as an artist, it's good to have a relationship with the people, your listeners, isn't it? And I wanted to let them know where I'm at and something, something as minimal as that was the best way to hear it because you can hear everything I said. Like You can hear every word I said. There's no catchy beat. There's no beat. Mm. There's no beat at all. I just wanted you to hear what I was saying. I was kind of talking to you. Mm. You said, um, like, growing up in trauma. Yeah. But even when you're happy, it feels like something's around the corner. Yeah. Like, so even like now, yeah, so like the irony is, yeah, I'm happy, but sometimes it feels too good to be true. Mm. Sometimes it feels like, what's, what's going to happen? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm just about getting over that feeling. But I remember even thinking like a year ago, oh shit, like, like after sponsored, I was thinking, oh, am I going to... Like, I said it, like, am I going to have to become a farmer or something? Because I never had a dip <laughs> at that moment. Do you get what I mean? So everything was going straight up. So I'd never actually had a song that's done that was a flop. So it was like, can you get out of this situation? Because a lot of people I see flop, bro, like, they don't come back, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying? And I'd like to think I'm good enough to get myself out of any situation. But I'm sure everyone thinks they're good enough, isn't it? So, yeah. So I always think like never take it never take it for granted. Like I'd never want to take it for granted because it was to, I went through hell to get here. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So um that yeah, that lyric was a real one. A real one. I do you know why that stood out to me, bro? Because mm. that's a mental battle that I've been that I have gone through for the longest time. Yeah. You know, like the big check comes through or something like that, and I'm happy. But then I think, nah, yeah. something's going to lick me. Because, you know, you just come, like, we, you grow up in that, that thing of bailiffs not having money, being mm. in the situation, all of these different types of things happening or whatever, yeah? And then, like, you obviously manage to survive it, get through it, whatever it is, yeah? But then things start going really well and you think, nah, like, yeah. something's gonna, something's going to lick me. Do you know what is so ironic about that? Um... The, what is it? Oh, no, uh, November, December. Yeah. Sick months for me, bro. What happened? What happened? S- Corona! <laughs> Corona! Listen! What, fam. this time in November? Or like, nah, like, gone. Like, yeah. November, December, gone. Lit for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, then yeah, like, yeah. I've come in bro, this year. And yeah, it's, it's, bro, it's messing up everyone, bro. Mashing up everything, bro. It's mess, ma- m- like, bro, everyone, everyone's getting it. Like, do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's mad. There was something around the, the corner. corner. <laughs> there was actually something yeah. around the corner, bro. Yeah, man. So yeah, no, it's like, it's real, bro. Like, no one's, no one saw this coming. And it's like, fortunately, I hope you're in the situation. Like, nah, you're, I'm good. you're yeah, good, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah. Like, How do you like, reckon this is going to affect the music business? Oh, bro, like, it already is, bro. Like, man, man's struggling to, like, film a video. Do you get what I'm saying? Get up and go. Naturally, everyone's self-isolating and as they should be. So it's like, it might slow down music for a lot of people as well. Yeah. Shows and that. Sh- I mean, you shows, know, you're, you're, uh, shows. Yeah. Shows X. Because you would have been now, if you would be going for, the like, the campaign now. Yeah. Obviously, you would have been dropping a couple of tunes and then getting ready to line up to start touching the road doing some shows 100%. That, which is a big which is a good part of the bag and like it's there bro it's peak it's peak out here do you get what I'm saying and it's nothing you can do in it it's just fortunate I'm in the position that I'm, that I'm in and I didn't spend like spend crazy mm. like I didn't live from check to check to check to check I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah I've got good foundations but yeah. it's a bitch though it's a bitch so yeah, it's mad, bro. But, like, either way, man, it's good to see that, you know what I mean? You're back out here. And it's good yeah. to know that you're all right. You know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah, I think more, more than anything, bro, that's, like, one thing I, I did really want to know. Like, I wanted to know, like, how like how are you, like... Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, what's, yeah. What's, what's really been happening with you, man? Yeah. And it's good to know that you're, you're at, you've got to a point again where you're, where you're happy. Like, 
that that hiatus that you had when you wasn't about for a minute, you mm. you like, was you a little bit worried? Were you? Yeah, yeah. Um, like with just the direction of what you was trying to do and where you was trying to go. Um, naturally, no one wants to take a break in it, but I think I think put your life first in it, like put your life first because I think people can hear when you're not as motivated. People can hear when you're all over the place in it. And I was just like, let me just get to grips on it because direction over speed, like you don't want to go nowhere fast. Mm. And I think I'm one of them people, yeah. I wouldn't actually be on social media if I didn't rap. Like, so it was, it was good to just get away, bro, live my life, live, get experiences, make sure I am hardy for me. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. I'm actually genuinely hardy in it. And that comes with, not making happy music all the time, not making like, like, do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Showing all sides, and I think it was it was the best thing I could do, bro. Hundred percent, hundred million percent, no regrets. As obviously, good music's gonna last, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. And I feel like even even showing it to you, like remember, like man showed it to you, and it's like yo, come through. Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? True. Like, I feel like if man showed you something like meaty and. No, and we wouldn't have done this right now. Yeah, we wouldn't even be here right now. It's yeah. because you know that man's got yeah. something to say. Man's, yeah. man's back. Yeah, of course. Yeah, man. So Bless thank him, you for man. having me on. Yeah, no, well, love, man. love for coming it. through, man. I, I yeah. Thanks for being a part of like the first part of this, man. Like, yeah. As as again, I, I've said, this for me is just about having conversations with people that I either check for or I find interesting or has something to say. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, that is more bent, that can be beneficial to someone or for me or just out of genuine curiosity, brother. Yeah, so, yeah man, bless it, yeah, man. No, yeah, no, man. Come on, man, the come checkup. On. Come on, my bro. Yeah, man, the checkup. Harley <laughs> Caprio, man. Bless yeah, up. Yeah, love, love, cool. love.